Hello everybody, this is number one. But what does it mean, number one? What is the definition of number one? How do mathematicians define number one? And is there really a definition of it? Let's find out in this video full of really nice animations. What are numbers? What is the definition of number? This might look like a silly question, a stupid question, but the answer will surely surprise you if you don't know it yet. So stick around and we'll find what a number is. And in particular, we will discover that this is number 4. Yes, you won't believe it, but this is the real definition of number 4 and we'll see why. So, let's first set some requirements for the definition we are looking for. We want a definition that is based on sets, because that's the only tool that we have, sets. We want a definition that allows easily to define the next number of any given number. We want a definition that allows to define the relation less or equal than in an easy way. And we want a definition where n is a set with n elements. Because that seems natural. So let's begin. Imagine you have an object. This could be anything. A banana, or an apple, or a unicorn, or a guitar, or a mysterious package. Imagine that you also have many containers that we will represent with boxes, like this. Well, how would you define number one? Well, one simple idea that may occur to you is to put your package inside a box and call that number one. And then, how would you define number two? You may think about Put in two copies of your package inside a box and call that number two. But in the theory of sets, you're not allowed to put more than one copy of an element inside the same box, so this would still be number one. So if one is your object with a box around it, it may occur to you to define number two as your object with two boxes around it and number three with three boxes around it and number four with four boxes around it and so on and so forth. And then you could define the natural numbers as the collection, as the set of all these numbers. So let's give this definition in a more formal way and let's check the properties of this definition. First, we define a function f that when given an object, for example a banana, it puts the object into a box. And we define 1 as our package inside the box. And we define the next after n as f of n. And by the way, you can replace all the boxes with braces and you will get the standard notation for sets. So, does this definition use sets? Obviously. Is it easy to define the next number? Yes, you just add a box around it. Is it easy to define the relation less than? Yeah, somewhat easy. And does number n have n elements? That's not true. So let's try again. So you have your package inside the box and that's number one. How can we define number two? Well, here's an idea. You can take two copies of your package, put the second copy inside the box, put everything inside a bigger box and you will have number two. What about number three? You take three copies of your package, you put a box around the second copy, two boxes around the third copy and you put everything inside the bigger box and that's number three. 
and you can go on like that. So let's give this definition in a formal way. We define a function f that when given a banana, it puts the banana in a box, just like before. And we define number one as our package inside the box, just like before. And we define the next event as the set with all the f of x's, where x is an element of n, union, the set with just our package. Let's try to understand better by looking at an example. So, if we have number 3, we can make a copy of it, and we can put a box around each element, and we can add a package in front, and we can put everything inside a big box, and that would be number 4. So let's check how this definition behaves. Does it use sets? Yes, only sets. Is it easy to define the next number? Yes, we've just seen it. Is it easy to define the relation less than? Yeah, because look, n is less than m if n is a subset of m. That's nice. And does n have an element? Yes, so we found a nice definition, but that's not the definition that mathematicians chose, and we're gonna see why. Von Neumann showed to be a genius from a very young age, and later in his life he was able to make great contributions to math, physics and information technology and he gave the definition of number that we still use. Because he said, if you have your package in a box, then you have two concepts, because you have your package and your package in a box, and that's two concepts. And if you put everything in a box, then you have three concepts, because you have your package your package in a box and your package with your package in a box in a box and that's three concepts and now we can do the same and we're gonna have four concepts and I'm gonna try to say them because I have my package my package in a box a box with my package and a box with my package and a box with my package a box with a package and a box with a package and a box with my package yeah if that makes sense and now we have five concepts, and I'm not gonna try to say them. And you can keep going on like that. So, here's von Neumann's definition. If you have a set X, you can do the union of X with the set that only has x as an element, and we will call that union S of x. And we define one as the box with your package, and we define the next of n as S of n. So let's see how it works. So if I have number one, and I want to calculate S of one, I have to make a copy of number one, put it inside a box, make the union, and I will have number two whose elements are the package and number one. And now, if I want to calculate S of two, I have to make a copy of number two, put it inside a box, make the union, and I will have number three, whose elements will be the package number one and number two. And if I want to find S of three, I have to make a copy of number three, put it inside a box, make the union, and I will have number four, whose elements are the package number one, number two, and number three. And I can keep going on like that. But I can hear your voices saying, what's that package? And what's inside that package? And well, yeah, well, yeah, that package is empty because 
the only object, the only initial object that actually exists in math is the empty set. So from now on, we are gonna draw an empty box, an empty square to represent the package and the empty set. And so number five, for example, can be represented by this drawing. And you can use ellipses if you prefer to, or square brackets. or round brackets, or triangular brackets, or a C and a D to open and close your sets, or you can just use braces as we normally do. And we can shift groups and subgroups if we want to emphasize the tree structure of the definition of numbers. And everything is really magical and you have trees and clouds and fractals. Zero is the empty set and yeah, zero is the empty set. One is the set that only contains zero. Two is the set that contains zero and one. Three is the set that contains 0, 1, and 2. And 4 is the set that contains 0, 1, 2, and 3. So, n is the collection of the numbers that precede n. And this definition has two really nice properties. First of all, m is less than n if m belongs to n. And if you define n as the set of all natural numbers, you realize that n is in a way the collection of all the numbers that are in a way smaller than n. And thus this say that n is a number itself, somehow. We're gonna explore this, and that was the point of von Neumann.